What's going on you guys welcome back to the channel for those of you who are new don't forget to subscribe down below if you do enjoy today's video but as you guys can see from the title and thumbnail today we will be detailing the M5 engine because um, I think it's been too long now that I have it like this you guys can see how dirty it is all this this is all old you can see the engine cover all around everything I think this is gonna be a mission just because there's a lot of like intricate areas I'm gonna try to get like in between all this like in between all that and then uh, like under all this, all this, all this stuff. I'm trying to make it look as good as I can. I'm gonna take off the engine cover and see what I can clean under there as well. Now the reason I'm making this video is because most people, me included, on my M55, my 535, my old car, I actually just pressure washed it. Um, I was just careful around like the alternator and like electrical parts, like not spraying water directly into that spot. Um, but with the M5, with like there being so much electrical stuff and the DMEs being literally right on top, I feel like it's a little dangerous to actually pressure wash this engine. Um, so I'm not gonna do that. I know most people say it's dangerous to pressure wash any engine in general. Uh, but yeah, I still did it on my M55 and I really had no problems at all. But yeah, with this engine, I'm just not trying to do that. So I'm trying to do a different route. And I am by no means sponsored by Chemical Guys. Although, yo, Chemical Guys, if you're watching this, sponsor your boy. Um, but anyways, I got these towels. These are just like regular towels. They're not like super, super soft microfiber towels. They're just like, uh, you can see workhorse, professional grade. I have this brush that I see a lot of the chemical guys people are using uh, when they're like detailing engines and stuff like that. I got the Nonsense, which is supposed to be a super cleaner. You guys can see. This is another thing that a lot of them use for like very, very dirty places. And then we have this black on black instant trim shine protectant. So this is supposed to make it look really nice and like like rich black uh, without it being like super super shiny or like uh, when you touch it's oily so it'll be dry to the touch and it's just supposed to make it, everything look nice and new so yeah let me just get started guys i have the gopro right here i'm gonna go ahead and put it on my head and kind of give you guys a third person view of like what i'm doing i also have this like a uh, painter's tape that i'm gonna go ahead and put throughout the middle of the car and i'm gonna try to give you guys kind of like a hard line so you guys can see the difference between the dirtiness and the clean even though you guys will obviously see a difference between <laughs> this and clean but yeah i'm gonna try to do it like in between the middle and you guys will like see the difference between all this i uh, like both of those uh charge pipes the all this stuff you guys know what i'm talking about so yeah let me go ahead and do that real quick and then we'll just get everything started start with the engine cover and then we'll walk from there Probably should open these already. Hey, you guys can already see how much better that looks right there. So, yeah, guys, I'm gonna just do the same thing with everything else around the car. For example, right here, spray, agitate with a brush. You don't even have to agitate it a lot. Honestly, once you think you're good, you get the towel and then you just wipe it all off. So as you guys can see right here, this looks so much better than, for example, this side. And yeah, so I'm going to continue doing the same thing. Obviously, it doesn't look brand new. It doesn't look super, super nice. But that's when this is supposed to come in and make it look pretty much brand new again really nice and shiny not shiny but really nice and like dark black and just like new plastic so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the engine guys probably put you guys on the time lapse on the gopro and then once we get to this point i'll go ahead and uh show you guys what how we do this
Alright guys, so check it out. I did half of the engine. You can see the line right here. The seat was kind of a fail. It was kind of coming off and it was like in the way of certain spots. Um, but you guys see the difference right here. This does look a little more pale, but it's just because like it's metal, I guess. But we'll see if the black on black thing will kind of make it look a little bit better. But you guys can see everything here. Everything is pretty much super, super clean. You guys can see the intake box. You can see the difference right here on the intakes for sure. And on the engine cover. You can see I cleaned all this. This looks super nice, guys. It used to look like this. Um, but yeah, I even tried cleaning the little top like thingy. You can see that, what I'm talking about. This thing, it looks really nice. I cleaned, yeah, I pretty much tried to clean around like as much as I can. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do all this side off camera. Uh, the GoPro actually died halfway while I was cleaning this, so you guys didn't see the, everything. Uh, but I actually took the engine cover off. I put it back on right now to show you guys. But I actually took the engine cover off and cleaned around the DME really carefully. I cleaned around like all this um, on top of the like uh, downpipe uh, heat shield, this thingy, all this. You can see everything is pretty much clean. I'm going to go ahead and do the whole other side and, and then we'll go ahead and spray the black on black. Alright, so the whole engine is finally clean as you guys can see. Intake, the intercoolers, charge pipes. Over here, I cleaned this DME as well. All these plastics all around. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the engine cover back on. And then I'm going to get the black on black and just start misting everything. Okay, guys, so I got it. I shook it a little bit. I don't know if I'm supposed to or not, but I was shaking it. Now I'm just going to lightly spray everything. Okay, so just lightly spray everything they said. You guys can see how it's spraying. So actually, I might buff, I might actually buff it off uh, with a clean, dry towel right now. I don't even know if I'm spraying too much or not. I'm just trying to spray it to where like everything looks coated. Okay, so you guys can see how it looks. It looks pretty wet right now. But you guys can see that on some places it's not like really on there. So I'm going to get a nice clean dry towel and just start buffing everything out. And trying to like spread it out nicely. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like after I put on the shine. I put on the shine, I just buffed it all out. Kind of spread it all out evenly. And I let it dry. And now, you guys can like, you can see my hands aren't oily at all. Everything is pretty much dry to the touch for the most part. And uh, yeah, everything looks so much better. Even these things right here, you guys saw how dirty they were before. And now, they look super clean. So yeah, everything looks good now, as you guys can see. Um, hopefully I was able to help some of you guys out. Because um, I know this isn't something that a lot of people post. Most people were either like wipe it down with a wet towel or maybe even uh, pressure wash it. But like I said... It's kind of dangerous, especially on like a car like this, because the DMEs are literally right on top. So that's why I didn't want to pressure wash it, even though it would be pretty easy to just put like degreaser everywhere and pressure wash it. Um, but yeah, it came out super, super nice. And it did take around like two hours, guys, but honestly, it was well worth it, uh, given the fact like how good it looks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and post a picture right now of um, on the screen so you guys can see the before. I'm going to put one where I clean half of the engine and half not. Um, I'm going to put a picture of the whole engine clean. And then I'm going to put the last picture of how it looks with the engine, uh, obviously clean, with the shine. So it's a, a huge difference, guys, if you guys look at it like before and after picture-wise. Um, I think it looks super, super good. So yeah, guys, hopefully I was able to help some of you guys out with that. If you guys did like this video, please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If this is more of like what you guys would like to see on the channel, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. If there's anything else you guys want me to try and you guys want me to film, let me know in the comments below. I'll go ahead and get that out for you guys. Uh, this was a pretty simple, I think I spent like 40 bucks, but I still have a lot of the stuff so I can clean like other things or like I can clean other engine bays like my brothers or something if I, if I needed to. Anyways guys, hopefully I was able to help some of you guys out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.